Welcome to Contentpreneurship Mastery. The reason I'm making this course today is because there is a problem out there. And the problem is making money online is hard. It's hard in that most people fail. Once you know how to do it, it's fairly easy. In fact, I was telling someone earlier, like it's, it's hard for me to not make the kind of money I make now. It's very difficult for me to not make 30, 40, 50 grand a month because I've got everything set up. So it just keeps coming and coming and coming. Even if I don't try, I went on vacation to Spain and to California last month. And we did over, we did over $50,000. So that was like whilst on vacation, like it's hard to, to fail once you're set up. But initially the problem is making money is very hard. Most people do fail. Most people give up. Most people end up going back working for a paycheck somewhere. And this doesn't mean you suck. It just means that it's freaking hard and there's not many people teaching it enough to make it easy. So my job here, my purpose here is to make it easy for you. Okay. That's why we're doing this. I want you to be able to sit down like I've sat down here at my computer and just make it work, set everything up and make it work. Because in, in, uh, in my, over, over the years, I've realized that there are two phases to business. There's phase one and there's phase two. If you can get through phase one, which most people don't, you'll realize that phase two is very easy. Phase one consists of the setup. It's just setting stuff up. It's setting up your funnel. It's setting up your offer. It's setting up your social media. It's setting up your automations. It's setting up your calendar. It's setting up your payment gateways. It's setting up your whole flow. It's setting up your lifestyle routine. Most people do not succeed with this because they've never been taught the setup. Most people think that business consists of phase two because 99% of what they see business owners do is phase two. And phase two is the daily operations. Phase two is putting out the content. Phase two is working with clients. So they think, okay, if I see people succeeding and they're putting out content and working with clients, I should also be able to succeed putting out content, putting out clients. Wrong. You'll only succeed if you got phase one set up. If you got everything set up. Most people suck at that, which is why I created business in a weekend. Business in a Weekend is a one-on-one -on -one done with you program where we set everything up with you so that you can get to phase two within two days. That's the whole reason I created Business in a Weekend because I noticed that there was, was a freaking problem. And if I just gave people all the DIY material and here's how to do it yourself, most people just procrastinate and never do it. So I'm like, okay, we're just going to handle that with Business in a Weekend. We're going to do everything with people one at a time. So the solution to this problem that we just discussed is what you're about to see, what I'm gonna teach you here. Okay, what I'm gonna teach you here is more or less what you would do with us step-by-step step inside of business in a weekend. So by the end of this workshop here, by the end of this class today, you can either decide, okay, I'm gonna do all this myself, or it makes sense to work one-on-one -on -one with someone to do it with, with me. Totally up to you. But you need to understand the solution, at least you need to understand it. Uh, before, even if you do decide to join business in a weekend, I don't recommend joining unless you first understand what I'm about to share with you. So here's what you need to understand. The first off, the bird's eye view. So if you were to take an alien from outer space and you were to explain to them how I make money and how all my friends make money on the internet, you'd probably tell them, hey, Ted puts out social media content and then he gets a client and he gets a customer. He, else, he, he, he gets people to go from cold to sold. Cold being they don't know who he is to sold being they're working with him. This in a nutshell is what I do. It's how, it's how my business runs. And it's what I help contentpreneurs do. I help contentpreneurs, I help people or even wantrepreneurs. I help wantrepreneurs become contentpreneurs by getting them to post stuff on social media and then get a client or get a customer. If you really break it down, it's that simple. Yeah, that's the bird's eye view, 3000 foot view. Now, where do you begin then? How, how do you make that work? If we understand that this is the case, like if I say, okay, the way to win at basketball is to get the ball in the net. That's very basic advice. It's not even really helpful, right? Get the ball in the net more often than the other team. That's not really helpful, but you do need to understand it in order to win. And most people don't seem to understand that when it comes to making money online as a content preneur, the ball has to go in the net, meaning you have to get clients to pay you. You have to get people to pay you. And the only way for them to pay you is for them to see your content. So even you can do word of mouth referral, but it's very, I don't recommend it. It's very hit and miss. A lot of people come to me because they're like, Ted, all my clients are from referrals. I want to actually get a consistent system built. So where do I begin? That's what everybody asks. I would like to begin at the end. I always like to begin at the end. Why? Because let's pretend we're going to build a skyscraper. Let's say you're like, Ted, I see you have these towers. 
You have these big towers. I want to build my own tower. Where do I begin? Well, as you'll notice with these towers, they all actually, although, although you're looking up at the tower, you'll notice they all have something in common. They all have a foundation. They all have a width. And the truth of the matter is, if your foundation is too small, like if you build like that sort of foundation, your tower cannot be that big. That big of a tower needs that big of a foundation. It needs a different foundation. If you build this tower, it can only be like that tall at the most. So I like to begin at the end. I like to begin at the foundation, the bottom. A lot of towers, I don't know if you realize this, but a lot of towers, most people have no clue about this. Most people are like, Ted, you're wrong. Some of these towers don't even have that big of a foundation. Well, this is, this is the ground where people walk. A lot of people don't know anything about construction, but the truth is a lot of people walk on the road here and then they walk up to a construction site and they see the construction site actually has a massive, a massive uh, hole in the ground. Like that's not to scale at all, but a massive hole in the ground. So the foundation can go super deep underground. So the construction people, they know that, hey, they're building a tower, but they need to start at the bottom. So for you as a entrepreneur, think at the bottom, think at the end. And, 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 and know, obviously, how high you want to go. How high do you want to go? So what's your income goal? What's your income goal? How high do you want to go? A lot of people's income goal, this is really sad, but it's true. A lot of people's income goal is, they tell me, 1 to 3K. That's what I see on average people telling me in the DMs. And I was hanging out with my cousin. She's my age. She's an artist. And she's, she's no dummy, but she doesn't have any like business skills. Uh, she's a really good artist, though. And I told her about what I do and how I help people. And I said, like, would you be interested in, in me like helping you hit 10K a month? Because that's what I help people do. And she said something very honest. She said, Ted, I don't think that's realistic. I don't want help making 10K a month because to me, it does not feel realistic. I'm like, wow, like what does feel realistic? She's like, at the most, honestly, at the most 5K a month. I'm like, wow. And that, that made me realize like, wow, I'm, I think I'm, because I, I work a lot of beginners. I think maybe I shouldn't say 10K a month in my marketing anymore because my cousin's like a perfect potential prospect. And she's saying 10K is completely unrealistic. And so sure enough, I did split testing and I, I started marketing, hey, make 5K a month versus, hey, make 10K a month. And more people resonated with 5K a month. So to me, that's, it's just, to me, that's, it's a, uh, it's a condition of our society, I guess. Most people are just so unbelievably broke that they think 60K a year is like, it's all right. But I didn't ask my cousin what's realistic. I didn't ask her, what do you think is realistic? I wanted to know if she'd want to make 10K a month. But what I should have asked her is, what would really excite you? What would get you up in the morning and be like, that's amazing. That's so much money. That'd be incredible. That's like a whole different lifestyle. Like I actually want to know what is considered unrealistic. So for a lot of people, 10K a month is considered unrealistic. That's $120,000 a year. That's super. And most people, there's probably like less than 5% of the population in North America makes that kind of money. In fact, I know that to be true. 5% makes 100K a year. So... You got, you got to be clear on what your income goal is. It has to excite you, though. That's the key here. I didn't, I'm not saying, what do you think is realistic? I'm saying, what's your goal? And a goal, to if it's going to be achieved, it ought to be exciting. Otherwise, what's the point? So 1 to 3K a month, you might think is realistic. 5K a month, you might think is realistic. Someone in India or the Philippines, I totally understand. This would be like incredible. They'd probably be one of the richest people in their town. But if you're living in North America, I think you ought to aim for minimum 10K a month. But that's just my opinion. Uh, but you, you got you to gotta be clear on your goal. So let's say for the sake of this course, your goal is 10K a month. It can be more, of course. I hope it is. But let's just say for the sake of this course, it's 10K a month. Now that you're clear on that goal, I want you to write that goal down and, and put it in present tense. Write this on paper. I make $10,000 a month. Then I want you to 
write that down on paper and put down your fridge. Let your friends come over, laugh at you. Let your parents laugh at you. Let your sister, brother, whatever, laugh at you. Just put it on the fridge, claim it, own it. And then in private, I want you to write this down as well. Making $10,000 a month feels like bam. And I want you to get, put a word to the feeling. Put a word to the feeling and then try to feel what it feels like to make 10K a month. Because if you can't feel the goal, you're, you have no direction for where to actually go feeling-wise. Like if you, if you feel that 10K a month actually makes, if you, let's say, for example, 10K a month feels like uh, powerful. And maybe when you feel powerful, you'd like stand like this with like your shoulders back and your hands down and you're like fists are clenched. Maybe this is the feeling of 10K a month. If that's the feeling of 10K a month for you, then you know that by, by feeling that every day, you're on track. You're on the path to 10K a month. Maybe 10K a month to you is this. Maybe that's 10K a month. If that's the case, do this every day and feel this. And then you're on track to making 10K a month. Because if you know that feeling 10K a month feels like, like this, like, yes. If that's 10K a month to you, it's, it brings you this feeling, yes. But then you go around your day like this, oh, then you're off track, right? So knowing what the goal is and knowing how it feels, now you know the end destination and you know like the, the internal compass, your internal guidance system. This is your compass, okay? So get clear on that and then claim this. So get clear on that destination and then this let this be your compass. Cool. So that's first things first. Number two is understanding that pricing is a tool. So if you want to make 10K a month, let's play a little game. You're allowed to, let's say in a perfect world, you and I are both equal. We're both equal at skill level in terms of selling. I've been at this selling thing online for five years. Let's just say you have five years of experience. You're just as good as me. Okay, so first one to 10K a month wins. We're gonna have a race. You versus me. You are allowed to sell a $1,000 program. In this particular hypothetical race, I am only allowed to sell a $10 program. Who is going to win first one to $10,000? Go. You have the unfair advantage. You can sell 10 of these and you're done. You just have to convince 10 people that a thousand bucks is worth it. I have to convince a thousand people that it's worth it. I, I don't even talk to a thousand people a month as is, let alone get them to give me 10 bucks. I don't even think I have a thousand people that would give me a dollar, let alone 10. That's t you're asking, no, that's, that's crazy. It's not fair. Listen, you win, I lose. I'm not even going to play this game. So knowing that to be true, and by the way, I've asked this to so many of my clients. They all say the same thing. They say, well, if I can sell for a thousand bucks and you have to sell for 10 bucks and I'm going to win. I'm like, exactly. So if you're going to win, why do you have this notion in your head that you should also have an ebook for 10 bucks? It's the dumbest shit in the world. Don't try and sell stuff for 10 bucks each. Don't even try and sell stuff for 20 bucks each. Don't try and sell stuff for 50 bucks each unless you're going to charge monthly. So if you're going to charge that low rate, 10 to 50 bucks, whatever, do it monthly. Charge a monthly recurring rate. Cool thing about this is if you're charging monthly and you get, let's say you're charging 50 bucks a month and you end up getting 200 people over the course of a year, you're now at $10,000 a month. And if you do a good job with those 200 people, you can keep them for life. You never have to sell them again. You just sell them once at 50 bucks. You're now making 10K a month for the rest of your life. It's a beautiful thing. So if you are going to sell low ticket, make sure it's monthly. Other than that, if you're going to make 10K a month, you might as well have the upper hand and charge at least a thousand bucks. Ideally though, you're charging like 2,000 or even 5,000 or more. Now, I, I totally understand that sounds unrealistic. I was there in the same boat. I first, look, when I first got into this game, I had a $14 ebook. This is my, this is my price point. I had a $14 ebook. And I went for my, a walk with my friends, Paul and Yulia in Thailand. And they told me about they hired a coach for two grand, a business coach. And I was like, you guys just got scammed, Paul and Yulia. We went for a lot of business walks and talks together. It was awesome. We, we had a great time. But I remember them telling me they hired a business coach. And for two grand, they paid. And I was like, you guys got scammed. And I was like, what did you learn from the business coach? And they're like, well, he told us that we should have a program for two grand. And I laughed a lot. I was like, how the hell are you going to sell a program for two grand? Who even has two grand? Because I didn't even have two grand in my name. 
And so I totally understand you guys right now thinking like one thousand, two thousand, five thousand dollars. That's a lot of money. No one's going to pay that much money. Truth is, people do pay that much money. You just gotta, you just gotta realize it. People pay that much money for stuff all the time. If people pay that much money for chemotherapy, people pay that much money for dental work. People pay that much money for lip injections, or maybe I don't know how much lip injections are, but Botox and boob implants and uh, butt lifts and all sorts of stuff. Medications throughout the year. People pay that on a trip to Hawaii. People pay that for a wedding ring. People buy shit like that all the time. Cars and all sorts of rent. How much is rent? Rent's two grand a month. What do you mean people don't spend two grand a month? Rent is two grand a month. Right? So people spend the money. People have the money. You just got to get in your head that they'll actually give it to you for something. That's what we're going to talk about today. So if we understand that this price point gives you the unfair advantage, then now we got to figure out how do we create something that's actually worth that much money? Well, good news. This is what we're going to cover right now. And that is the HDQER. And HDQER is what people will actually pay for. So when someone gives you a thousand bucks or two thousand bucks or five grand or more, or even 50 bucks, but generally the higher ticket stuff, really all they're paying for is an HDQER. HDQER stands for a highly desirable, quantifiable. How do you spell desirable? End result. Oh, there's no E. Highly being like high, not like mediocre. I mean, high, like low, medium, high. Like you turn the oven on high, the stove on high. It's like max, like high. What's the highest thing? Desirable, meaning they actually want it. Not like kind of, sort of interested, but they actually want it. Quantifiable, meaning they can put a number on it. One, two, three, four, five, six. They can quantify it. End, meaning like complete, like Mission accomplished, we're done. And result, meaning like the result of the, the process that you brought them through. Their, their dream and outcome. We could say outcome, you know, whatever. Result sounds better than outcome when we go to Hitaker. So here's the thing about Hitakers. Here's the thing about highly desirable quantifiable end results. There's only four. There's only four that people will pay for when it comes to high ticket. Someone's going to give you a thousand bucks, two thousand bucks, or five grand online. I'll tell you right now, they're only going to pay you for four different highly desirable quantifiable end results. Four and only four, not five, not six, not seven, four. I'll tell you what those four are in just a moment. But first, understand that there are only four, not five, not six, only four. So I'm going to tell you the four right now, and you have to listen. Pay attention. I'm going to tell you the four. I know some people in the crowd are still going to be like, but what about this? And what? No. Like, but what about this? No. Only four. They're like, Ted, but even no. Only four. Here they are. Number one. People, I guarantee you, every single time, even me, you can sell me right now, I will pay you for these four things if you do a good enough job. I buy stuff all the time. And I'm not, I'm not spending a thousand bucks, two thousand bucks though, unless it's one of these four things. It has to be one of these four. I'll give you 50 bucks for a flower. I'll give you 50 bucks for like a, a photo of myself or something. I'll give you 50 bucks for anything. Low ticket, you can sell anything. And this is where, this is where people don't understand. They think, well, Ted, if somebody's buying an ebook on meditation for 10 bucks, maybe they'll give me two grand to meditate. No, no, they won't. People will pay low ticket for anything can be a picture of a piece of bubble gum and they'll pay 50 bucks for it. But they'll only spend thousands of dollars when there's a highly desirable quantifiable end result. So here they are. They're only four. Number one, anything to do with money gains or saving. So for example, if I teach you how to make, or screw teaching, if I get you making five grand a month, you're going to want to pay. You'd be like, yo, I'll pay you two grand to make five grand a month. Heck, I'll pay you five grand to make five grand a month. Screw it, I'll pay you 10 grand to make five grand a month. Done. Money gains. Money saving. Good example. I'm moving to Dubai very, very soon. Moving my company to Dubai very, very soon because I want to pay 0% tax. I want to save 0% tax. I don't want to pay tax. I want to save hundreds of thousands of dollars. So I'm moving to Dubai. I'm paying a company to help me do that. I'm paying a company thousands of dollars 
to move me across the world so I can pay 0% tax. People will pay for this all day long, every day. No problem. Number two, beauty gains, meaning more muscle or less fat. Typically like the top two. More muscle, less fat. Guys and girls, boys and women, boys and women, all humans will pay for beauty gains. Even if you don't even want to be a man or woman, you'll pay for it. You'll pay, for, you'll pay for beauty gains so that you don't have to be identified as a man or woman. You'll pay thousands of dollars to be identified as non-gender, and you'll do something funky down there. I don't know what you do. You convert your something into something that doesn't even exist just to be more beautiful in your own reflection or to your partner or whatever. But beauty gains. All women want to be more beautiful. Most men care about being relatively attractive. And even if people don't identify, they, they're going to pay money so they don't identify. They want to be, they want to feel more beautiful. We all care how we look. It's human. We'll pay money for that, no problem. I've asked tons of female clients this. I say, would you pay me a thousand bucks right now if I guarantee in the next 90 days I can turn you into the most beautiful version of yourself that you've ever been? More beautiful than you were in your 20s? And they all say, yeah. Every time. Number three, people will always spend thousands and thousands of dollars on what I'm about to tell you right here. Ready for it? Relationship gains, meaning help me find my soulmate, help me perfect my marriage, help me get more, help me, help me have more sex, help me get more dates on Tinder, whatever. All day long. All day long. Relationship coaches will always be in business if they know how to market this. Beauty coaches will always be in business if they know how to market this. And money gains coaching and teachers will always be in business if they know how to market this. And they'll always make thousands of dollars per customer. If you're, if you're in one of these three niches, you can always charge thousands and thousands of dollars. Number four, the fourth and final is helping people alleviate, alleviate, chronic pain. If you can help people alleviate chronic pain, we're talking back pain, neck pain, knee pain. In fact, someone in my family right now, I won't name who because it's happening as we speak. She has major cancer all over her body. She is in chronic pain right now. She can hardly sleep. In fact, she couldn't sleep last night. She was up all night in back pain because she has so much bone cancer and adrenal cancer. She's in so much pain that she, she, she fell asleep last night on the couch and she woke up in so much pain because she didn't take her pain meds and she was in so much pain that she couldn't get off the couch. So she had to roll over and fall onto the ground and then wiggle her way to her bedside table to grab the uh, pills, to pop the pills. And only once the pills dissolved in the bloodstream, hit her brain, she was able to move and not have the pain anymore. She was in so much pain. She would easily pay thousands and thousands of dollars to alleviate that pain forever. Okay, so it's chronic pain. Relationship gains, beauty gains, money gains. I guarantee you every single one of you in this audience right now would pay money if making more money or saving money was guaranteed. You would also pay money guaranteed if becoming more beautiful was guaranteed. I also guarantee that you would Pay money to guarantee your relationships are better. I also guarantee that you'd pay money to alleviate chronic pain or even prevent pain forever. If someone's like, hey man, two grand right now, and I guarantee you'll never have any pain ever for the rest of your life. And now all these proof and testimonials on there, but okay, done, let's do it. Preventative stuff. Preventative stuff doesn't work as well, but it still works. Anyways, those are the only four. Those are the only four. Now I'm happy to take a little break right now and get to some questions. So if you have any questions, post them in the chat and let's answer some quick questions. If, if there are any. And if you don't have any questions, type your key takeaway. I want to know what your key takeaway was. Our fit Jason Fonger, what's up, dude? Hey, uh, Jason and everyone else. 
Angelica, Haley, etc. Change your chat settings to everyone because you guys are posting a lot. I see, but um, there's no nobody can see what you're posting. So change your. Ha! Huh, thanks, Elena. Change your chat. Everyone but Elena. Change your chat settings to everyone. Elena can keep hers on private. Um, okay. Are fitness gains beauty gains? Yeah. Yeah, anything that makes you more beautiful. All right, there are no questions? Really? Okay, well, if there are no questions, I want you to at least post one key takeaway right now. Post one key takeaway, what'd you learn? If you were trying to coach now, how much per month? See, Jason asked an interesting question. Jason says, if you're trying to, if you're trying to coach right now, how much per month would you charge as a triathlon coach? Dude, look at that list of four right there. And you tell me right now, how does triathlon coach fit into any of what I just said? Where does it say fitness games? No, like you can, you can, you can associate fitness games with beauty games, but it ultimately has to be beauty games. You have to sell it from the angle of beautiful. Like it's extremely difficult unless you're working with like a hella micro niche part of the population, like pros to sell someone on improving their fitness for the sake of fitness. Extremely rare. You have to be like top, 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 top pack. You're not marketing to the masses at that point. At that point, you're purely on like referral. You're on a referral basis at that point. If you're helping people just with their fitness for the sake of fitness. That's like uh, helping people like collect art. That's like you're on a referral basis at that point. Um, so as far as how much I would charge, I have no idea, man. I, I don't even, I wouldn't, I, would, I wouldn't go into that. Unless I'm prepared to only work with like the pros, but then I don't know. Yeah. They're already kind of. I don't know. It's, it's not my area of expertise, man. <laughs> Go. I would just ask a pro triathlon coach. What do they charge and why? How'd they come up with that price? Um, Corey said you have a quote about having higher prices and how it relates to how people see you. I remember being on this call a year ago wishing it was me and now it is. Angelica, yeah. I don't know what you mean by that. I remember being on these calls a year ago and wishing it was me and now it is. I'm going to unmute you and you're going to tell your story. Hello, Ted. Hey, what's up? <laughs> so I can't stay long, y'all, because I have my own webinar in 20 minutes. And I saw this email come through and I was like, oh, I need inspiration. Um, so I signed up with Ted like little bit less than two years ago. And I remember just like listening to this and doing all these things and thinking, oh, it's never going to be me. And this is just so much work. And, and it's like up and down and up and down. And you guys, I've made $30,000 so far this year. And I consistently make 5k months consistently. <laughs> it, it is, would you say like, it's almost hard for you to not make 5k months now? Cause you got everything set up and it's just your momentum. Yes. Yeah. My funnels are set up. Uh, my email sequences are set up. I know exactly how my day is planned out. I know exactly my content planning. I know what I'm going to put out. I plan what content I'm going to make. I focus on pain points when I make my content and everything I make is for value for the, the prospective client. And I'm not afraid to like get on calls with people. And I'm not afraid. I have 22 people sign up for my webinar that's happening in 20 minutes. That's amazing. And it's all organic. I don't even do paid ads right Maybe. now. So, so people are going to be wondering, which of these four are you catering to? I sell online yoga teacher training, but what I actually sell is how to make money. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Yoga. Pause right there. Notice how she said what I actually sell. So Angelica mastered the art of what I call offer masking. Meaning, hey, here's this mask of yoga teacher training, but ultimately under the mask, 
people are going to make money. People are going to make money. In fact, if, if Angelica said, hey, I'm going to teach you how to be a yoga teacher, but you're not going to make any money. Nobody would sign up. Like, I mean, maybe 1% would. Very small amount of people want to have a yoga teacher training just for the sake of yoga teacher training. Most want to be able to make money afterwards. Huge, Angelica. That's amazing. Yeah, no, it's really exciting. Like, honestly, y'all, like, if you put into practice everything that Ted says, I have made my investment back, like, I, like a thousandfold. <laughs> like, I've made so much more money than what I've paid Ted. Ted is somebody that, like, I feel like it, nobody else that I've worked with gives as much as he has given to me. And you just consistent, like, the fact that I'm even here on this call right now is that just you consistently giving and giving and giving and giving. And I just feel like I got way more value than I ever paid you for. I appreciate that. I appreciate that so much. Thank you so much. But, and congrats. No. I pass it on to my clients now. I do the yeah. same that, you know, because that's, uh, there, people aren't doing quality trainings like what we're doing. So when, when y'all start doing your trainings but, and your coaching, like give quality, don't give the minimum, give the maximum. Cause that's what yeah. I have multiple sales. That's it. Give the maximum. Yeah. Give it all. Thank you. If, if they buy once, they're more likely to buy again. Give it all. Thanks, Angelica. I appreciate it. Thank you, Ted. I appreciate you. Wish me luck. You don't need luck. You got skill. <laughs> Thank you. Crush it. You, you, and, and you got statistics on your side. You'll do well. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, so success in this, in this business game, it, it, uh, you know, there's a lot of factors at play, but ultimately, if you don't have these fundamentals dialed down, you got no chance of success. And Angelica has the fundamentals dialed in like she's picked one of the four and prior to her picking one of the four, guess how much she was making online? Nothing. Once she picked one of the four, she now actually had a chance and now she's crushing. So pick one of the four. It's an, it's, it's, a, I show people this menu, right? I showed someone this menu today and they're like, okay, but like, I don't know what to do next to my business. And I'm like, what business? You haven't even picked the business. They're thinking like eight steps ahead, even like two steps ahead. But the only step you have to pick right now is pick from the menu. We're at a restaurant right now. Pick. Are you going to order money gains? Are you going to order beauty gains? Are you going to order relationship gains? Are you going to order alleviate chronic pain gains? Like pick from the menu. And once you've chosen, you can then proceed. Shall we proceed? Let's proceed. What is your RMS? RMS stands for Refined Marketing Statement. In short, it's I help niche accomplish desire that's it so for short for example i help women i help women flatten their stomach and build a peach booty boom or i help men get 10 dates per week on tinder do you know how many guys, I guarantee to you, how many guys would pay easily $1,000, $2,000 for this? No problem. Because it's a biological need that we're working with here. A lot of people are saying, oh, Ted, all this stuff is so shallow. No, it's biological need. We have a biological need for freedom. That's what money gives you. We have a biological need for uh, attracting. That's what beauty gains gives you. We have a biological need for feeling safe with one another. That's relationship gains. We have a biological need to survive and pain is death. So this is the opposite of death, right? These are biological needs here. Now in real life, we pay for shelter, biological need. We pay for water, biological need. And when we're walking around in a new city after we land up to touch on an airport, we're looking for a uh, place to sleep. Right? It's a biological need because we're tired. I don't want to pay. When I, when I go traveling, one of my least favorite expenses is the expense of a hotel. So I'm like, wow, why am I paying $300 or an Airbnb? Why am I paying $300 for a bed? All I need is a place to sleep. I just want to sleep, but it's a biological need that I have. So I have to buy it. I can't go the whole night wide awake. I have to sleep. So in real life, it's like you got food, water, sleep. 
online, you got these. Yeah. So sell to these. Your RMS is a sentence. It's you can put this in your bio. So what does my bio on Instagram say? I've got two. Uh, I say, I help content entrepreneurs make $10,000 a month with courses coaching. Then I also have another one in there. It says, I help vegans get jacked on a food-based diet. So biological need making money. Yes. Biological need help me get jacked. Yes. Yeah. So I help who accomplish what? That's it. You got to be able to fill in this sentence. Fill it in. I recommend uh, typing this out and then pasting it inside of the school community for feedback. Uh, inside of, if you're in contentpreneurs, you can get offer feedback on it from me and the other coaches. Post it right there. Offer feedback. Right there. See, Larissa says, I help women getting more self-love by decluttering, blah, blah, blah. And she got feedback from me and a few other people. Um, if you're in contentpreneurship.com, the free community, you can post your RMS. You might not get as much feedback. I personally don't go in here and coach. Uh, if you want the coaching, just join contentpreneurs. You can do that just by going to any of the classroom sections and uh, clicking upgrade your account. Bam. Cool. Actually, you can do it just by going to step two. Yeah, contentpreneurs. Bam. All right. RMS done. Now the three C's for flow. This is this is awesome. I wish, I wish, I wish I knew this a long time ago. I was always wondering, okay, how do I actually get clients? Now that I now that I know what I'm helping people with, how do I actually get the clients? Well, this is how. Or the sales flow. Comes down to three key pieces. Number one, your content. You upload content. It starts with content. You all watch content. And then you do something with it. You interact with it. You either like it or you comment on it. Or you DM the person, whatever. But a conversation results, ensues. A conversation ensues. Content, conversations. And then once you have a conversation with someone, you can turn them into a client or you become someone's client. So content, conversations, client. Just like that. So you upload content. From that content, you have conversations with people. Those conversations lead to you landing a client. If you want a more in-depth look of what this would look like, I'll break it down in a bit more detail for you. So you upload a piece of content to, let's say, Instagram, Instagram story. In that Instagram story, for example, this doesn't need to be a story. It could be a Facebook post, YouTube post, TikTok, doesn't matter. Just some form of social media content. Social media content plus a call to action. You say, comment below, send me a DM, click this link, whatever. A call to action, get them to do something. From that call to action, that's going to lead to them DMing you. That DM is going to be like you sending them a link. You send them a link. That link takes them to your private community where they can access said freebie, a link to a freebie. Call to action for a freebie. You send a link to the freebie. They go to the community to get the freebie. In that community, you DM them again. And you then get them on a call. And then they become a client. Tens. No, I'm sorry. I will, I will take that back. Hundreds of thousands of dollars in my business has been generated from this. Unbelievably simple. I post some content. Hey, guys, what's going on? Ted Carr here, and I just created the world's best freebie thing. Send me a DM with the word love if you want to get it. Boom, love, 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 love comes in. Okay, cool. I send the freebie. I say, okay, hey, man, here's the thing you asked for. Check it out. You can get it inside the community. Bam. Hey, Bubba, here's the free thing you asked for. Get inside the community. Boom, send. All these people join the community. New, new member, new member, new member, new member, new member, new member. People ask me, Ted, how did you get, how did you get, uh, 800, 867 people in here in just a few months. Are you seriously asking me how I got 867 members? How do you think I got 867 members? This is the only way. Why else would they join? I saw someone send out an email today. The email was like, join my community. Instant delete. Why do I give a shit about your community? I don't. I care about the free stuff. So anyways, people join my community. 
I, I get uh, my team member to send them a DM. In fact, you can see the script. Every time someone joins, we auto DM new members. Bam, looks like that. And from there, we have a conversation with them to see if we can help them. We find out their problems. If they have a problem that we know we can fix, we're like, dude, let's fix your problem. Let's hop on a free 10, 15 minute call. They hop on the call with us. If that call goes well, we have another call with them in a lot more depth. From there, they become a client or they don't become a client. If they do become a client, they pay us thousands of dollars to fix the problem. Or if they don't have thousands of dollars, they just pay us 50 bucks a month and they still get help with their problem. They just have to kind of fix it more so on their own inside of content printers. So either way, we're getting off this call with either 50 bucks or a few grand. Done. That is a sales flow. So, so simple. Tattoo this into your brain. Write this down at least. Put, it, put, put, this, on, put this on your fridge. At the start of this call, I told you to write down your income goal. Put it on the fridge. $10,000 a month. Underneath, or no, write this down, uh, right here. I make $10,000 a month, put that in your fridge. And then get clear on this, write this down too. Content, conversations, clients. Now, the cool thing about the client work is from the client work, you work with them, you get a case study. A case study looks like this. Okay, case study. I call them success stories as well. So I take the case study, I take success stories, and I put them on social media, turn them into more content. That way people can see the success stories, like here's Tori having three extra income. I take Tori's case study, I put it back on social media, and I create more content with it. This video of Tori will probably get me a client because that's part of the flow. That's what it's supposed, it becomes content and gets me a client because people then go through this whole flow all over again. So it's a, it's a never ending beautiful cycle. That's the sales flow. Before we proceed, type value in the chat if you're getting some value from this call right now. Type value if this is worth your, worth your uh, Thursday. Cool, everybody. Wow, that's that's nice. <laughs> okay, uh, that's very cool. Everybody, amazing. Fantastic. Okay, now what I want you to do is either ask me a question about what we just covered or give me a key insight. Give me like an aha moment that you had. Does the community have to be on school? Well, let me ask you a question, Maggie. Um, where else on the internet are you going to find a platform that has a community that's this simple and also has categories at the top to search for things this simply and also announces to your community when events are happening via this calendar and also allows you to store educational material this beautifully and this simply. And also easily beautifully shows you a list of all the members and also allows you to reward certain members for being super active. And allows you to have a little about page that helps even sell the community to people. Where else are you going to find that? Now, to answer your question, you don't have to use school, but I guarantee you're not going to find anything, anything else out there like it. If you do want to use school, by the way, send me a DM on school with the word school, all caps, and my team will personally hop on one-on-one -on -one privately with you at no cost to set you up. Once you're set up on school, the fee to use school is 99 per month. It's still cheaper than most of the other platforms out there for what you get. It's incredible. The fact that you can do auto DMs on new, new members, this alone will make your money back within the first couple weeks if you've got everything set up properly at the, at the most. So yeah, send me a DM with the word school. 
if you want help. Cool. Um, Discord is an option, but uh, it is not going to perform like this. Discord is hella confusing compared to this. Most people don't want to have to install Discord. Once you open Discord, you realize it's just like a big chat room. It's hard to navigate. Never says focus on the three C's. Yes, that's the insight. Cool. Trevor, there's basically only four topics to specialize in to make money. Beauty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Uh, you can start on Facebook groups. Yeah, definitely. You can start on Facebook groups for sure. Cool. All right. Let us continue. Or as vegans like to say, let us turn up the beat. All right. Now the three C's for delivery. What are you actually going to give people when they pay for your program? Well, there's only three things that you need to give them. And school covers them all. Watch this. You need to give them a community because they all want to chat. You need to give them course material because they want to be able to learn stuff like at a, with a click. And you need to give them coaching. So when someone signs up for your program, when they become a client, because you told them that you helped niche accomplish blank because you chose something off the menu because you said that you want to make 10 grand a month. What are you going to give them? You're only going to give them these three things. You only, they only need a community. They only need a course material. They only need coaching. So community is where they can ask questions 24 seven. They can chat amongst each other. They can network. Some people have even met one another in a school community and Found love. Like, look at this. Uh, you don't see this happening in Circular Kajabi. Uh, these two people met on school and they met up in real life thereafter and fell in love. So school creates that community for people to get to know one another, get to know one another. Next, you want course material because you don't want people asking the same questions over and over and over and over and over again. A community falls apart very quickly if just the noobs take over and just ask the most basic questions over and over and over again. So you cover the most basic questions by saying, hey, start here. And you get them to go through what they need to go through. Yeah. So fill in your course material with the most frequently asked questions. That way people don't ask the same questions over and over and over and over and over again. If you're wondering how to develop course material, just think of what are the four, four, three to four, what are the three to four main areas someone needs to master to get results? Results being what you said you're going to help them with. What are the four things they need to master to make money? What are the four things they need to master to become beautiful? What are the four things to have a better relationship? What are the four things to limit chronic pain? We can all think of four things, no problem. If you're a teacher or a coach and you know your area, you can think of three to four things, no problem. Three to four main things. Let's just say for the sake of this, it's weight loss. Okay, obviously you need to dial in your diet. Obviously you need to dial in your fitness and you probably need to dial in your lifestyle habits. That is three easy ones right there. You could pick another one, for example, like, I don't know, like... um you might have another category for like supplements or something, or you might have another category for mm, mindset, right? Whatever. Once you pick your four areas, you now have a course outline, a high level course outline. From here, you just think, okay, what are the three to four main things for diet? Okay, the three to four main things for diet is probably like, okay, understanding calories in versus calories out. Understand that. Understanding um, staple foods and understanding what time of day to eat. If you, talk, if you take someone who's super overweight and you're like, hey, bro, hey, bro, here's what time of day I want you to eat. And here's exactly what I want you to eat. And here's exactly how much you need to eat. And you stick to that. Like they'll be so happy that, wow, no one's ever taught me that before. Thank you so much. I didn't know I was supposed to wait till noon. I didn't know I was supposed to eat fruits and vegetables. I didn't know I'm only supposed to eat 2,500 calories a day. Just teaching them that, you just changed their whole freaking life. And all we did was cover one topic with three to four little points. You do the same thing with fitness, lifestyle, mindset, and they're taken care of in terms of 
course material in terms of the FAQs. Yeah. Cool. That's how you come up with your course material. Then for the coaching, really simple. You just throw some Zoom links up on a calendar and you give them some themes. So every Monday we help people with content because most people need help with content. Every Tuesday we help people with the tech because a lot of people struggle with the tech. So, okay, we'll take care of all the tech for you. Done for you, Tech Tuesday. And then Wednesday again, we have another content call because people need even more help with content. And then every second Saturday, like this Saturday, we go live and I do a workshop, kind of like I'm doing right now, but usually a bit shorter. And then I do a Q&A call. So coaching, done. And as you guys just admitted, it's value, 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 value. So if you give people those three things, which you can easily give them on school, all needs are met. All needs are met. Don't need to overthink it. It's very, very simple. Cool. And you might think, oh, how do I, how do I film this course material? Well, look how simple this is. It's a Google Doc. Or it slides. It's up to you. And you just go through different... Share your screen and talk. That's it. Share your screen and talk. Doesn't need to be any, complica any more complicated than that. Cool. Last uh, section here, home stretch. I want you guys to pitch yourself right now and ask yourself this question. Look in the mirror or ask your dog or your cat this question. Would you pay me $1,000 to blank? I want you to ask this in the, in the chat right now. Ask in the chat right now. Pitch me right now in the chat. And I'll tell you yes or no. In fact, unmute. Uh, somebody who can unmute. Type unmute and I'll unmute you and you're going to pitch me and I'll tell you yes or no. Because, because if I say no, you're not going to make any money with this high ticket program. But if I say yes, you're very well on your path to making a lot of money. I am the uh, Shark Tank guy right now. Let's play a little bit of Shark Tank. Type unmute if you want me to unmute you and you can pitch me. You can hop on for 30 seconds, do your pitch. I'll tell you if I'm going to buy yes or no and why. Don't be scared. Don't be scared. Okay. Jason, no. Nope. I'll tell you why as well. It's very good for you to understand why. Very good for you to understand why. I didn't understand this, bro, years ago. So I, I would have said the same thing years ago. But once uh, you hear me say this, you're like, oh, that makes sense. Bro, the people you're asking, would you pay me $1,000 to get the sexiest body of life on a vegan diet? The people you're asking would have to be vegan. They would have to be vegan. And if that's the case, like meaning like they would, or they would have to already be vegan for that to even like reg register with them. Because if they're not already vegan, anyone who's not vegan who sees that, you're going to scare away. The word vegan is like repellent. It's like non-vegan repellent. So I would, I would just open it up and I'd be like, yeah, would you pay me a thousand bucks to get the sexiest body of your life in the next 90 days? Duh, how can I say no to that? Then once I agree, then you say, okay, here's the plan, bucko. We're going all vegan because that's the way. We're going to go fruit breakfast. We're going to go fruit lunch, and we're going to go cooked vegan dinner, whatever you want. Raw till four, whatever. Boom, now they're in. Like feel the energy difference too. Like just feel how this feels. Pretend you're just a regular person. Would you pay me $1,000 to get the sexiest body of your life on a vegan diet? Okay, now feel this. Dude, would you pay me $1,000 to get the sexiest body of your life in the next 90 days? Boom. So much more compelling. Tanya says, would you pay me $1,000 to help you regain your health, get off medication, and increase your vitality? No. Nope. Because you made me three, you're, you're, you're proposing three different things and you've diluted um, all of them by saying those three different things. So Tanya, we need to understand that as a marketer, health does not exist. It's not a thing. Eliminate that word. Nobody is going to pay $1,000 to regain their health, but they will pay $1,000 to drop 50 pounds. 
They will pay $1,000 to look better than they did in their 20s. They will pay $1,000 to completely eliminate their itchy eczema. They will pay $1,000 to eliminate their Hashimoto symptoms or whatever, Crohn's disease symptoms. Yeah. But they will not pay $1,000 to regain their health because health does not exist in market world, marketing world. Eliminate that word. It's not a word you should ever use. And increase your vitality does not, is not a thing. You cannot stand in front of a judge in court or in front of a lawyer and say, but your honor, I helped him increase his vitality. That shit would not hold up in court. You'd be sent out of the courtroom. You'd probably get handcuffed. Like this person's a lunatic. They're not even making sense. Because that does not, it's not even a thing. You need to say things that are things. You know, like you need, like th things can't be subjective. They have to be like rock solid. Like they have to be tangible, quantifiable. Uh, Jason, I mean, that, that could work, but it's not as, not as sexy. Lucy, would you pay me $2,000 for find the master within? No, 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 no. The roadmap told me, no, 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 no. This is why we have these workshops, guys. We have these workshops because of what Lucy just said. We have these workshops because of, I'm going to put this in the chat right now. This is exactly why we have these workshops. Would you pay me $2,000 for find them out? A, I don't know what that is. And then you say the roadmap to freedom. What kind of freedom? A total new you. Don't know what that means. In only nine days. I, you could say in only nine seconds and I wouldn't buy because I don't even know what this means. You have to say things that mean something to the person you're speaking with. This might mean something to you, but it needs to mean something to everybody in the world who reads it. And it needs to mean the same thing to everybody in the world who reads it. This right now means different things to different people or it doesn't mean anything at all. So what did I say? Again, you guys, this is exactly why we do these workshops. What did I write here? Lucy? What did I write here? You have a menu. There's four options on the menu. I don't want your mind right now to go anywhere except for on this menu. I want you to read off one of these four words for me. That's all I want you to do is read off, type in one of these four words. You're either going to type in the word money, type in the word beauty, type in the word relationship, type in the word chronic pain into the chat. And whichever one you type in, that's the one that you're going to help people with. At least I gave you a very simple instruction, a very simple instruction. And you have, uh, you have uh, one more chat, one more chance, one more chance. I said, I want you to type in either the, I'm giving you four options here. Do not, do not uh, go off the path, right? Money, beauty, relationships, chronic pain. Thank you. Oh, you did it. Success. So happy for you. Chronic pain. Thank you. Now, uh, I should, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, um, I'm going to sift one more time. I'm going to sift one more time. This seems to be chronic physical pain. The reason I say chronic physical pain is because, yeah, the reason I say physical pain is because, and I, I know that, Lucy, that's why I want to say it, is because if you go the emotional route, emotions are like the weather. Like it, it just changes so frequently and they can change so abruptly. It can be cloudy and then rainy and then all of a sudden sunny, like emotions are all over the place. So it's very different. You don't want those kind of clients anyway. Working with emotionally like wacko clients is like not the kind of clients you probably want to be working with. So 
if you can, here's, and here's, I've made, said this before, but I'll say it again. If you, if you, you're looking at this list right now and you're like, oh, I can't pick any of these four. Well, the truth is you can, and there's a couple ways to do it. Number one, you can either team up with somebody who is really good at one of these things. Team up with somebody and offer them something that you know they for sure really, really want and need that they already don't have that you could offer. Like, for example, for example, they take care of all the front end content work and you take care of all the back end tech work or something, right? Well, the other option is to create a summit where you're the host of the summit and you interview all these people who believe they do chronic pain. And you interview them and you're the, you're the host of the summit. And you learn so much from that summit that you can then go and sell it someone as a product. Or you take a course on any one of these four things and you become certified and then you go and help people with those things. If you do that, if you, if you, could, if you do that, then all of a sudden you're in a position. In fact, I've taught three out of these four. I taught how to make money once I started making money. I taught beauty gains once. I, one time I bulked up to like 170 pounds or something. And I decided I'm going to cut the fat. I'm going to cut, I'm going to lose weight. So I created a weight loss program to help people lose weight. And then another time I created a festival, a fruit festival. And I said, hey, come together and meet your best friends, meet other like-minded people. It's like a place for singles to meet, so to speak. So I've sold three of these. Even though at first, at first glance, I'm like, I don't know if I could really do that. If you think about it, you could probably figure it out. But it has to be one of these four. It has to be. So try again, Lucy. Yes, Jason, one at a time. But Lucy, try again. Just, just pick, just type one in the chat. Either money, beauty, relationship, or chronic physical pain. Jason, the only two that would kind of go that could kind of go together would be beauty gains and chronic pain relief. But even then, I recommend you as a beginner, just pick one to start. Look at knee over toes guy. This guy makes like 100k a month or more. What does he help guys with? Knee pain. All he does is help people with knee. Look at that. I've received 2,291 knee success stories so far. All this guy helps people with is leaving knee pain. But yeah, now he's getting into other things. Like here, he's like the big eight for lower back and lower back pain. So now he's getting into the muscle, but he niched down initially to uh, just the knees. Okay. So, uh, Lucy says, I had this ready in my book, Four Steps to Break Free from Trauma and Bounce Back into Your Power. I can't run this related to business. I can turn this related to business. Yeah, you can turn this related to business. Yeah, you just can pick one of the four. That's all. Any one of you guys can do it. It's just a matter of being able to perceive it. Okay. Uh, no, square one is like, you're way past square one. You're way past square one. You just you just got to pick a better better angle to take. That's all. Okay, so there's um, fifteen people here live, and only two people pitched, which tells me thirteen of you are are too afraid of my of my wickedness. Don't be afraid. I'm 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 really nice. Haley's met me in real life. I'm I'm nice. Jason's met me in real life. I'm I'm a nice guy. Only two people here have met me. Matt says, what should be my most important task to do to start my online business? Uh, well, you're gonna have to watch this video again because I covered that in depth right here. So watch the replay. Because I don't remember what I said, but I remember it being good. So my advice, watch the replay. But I need someone, one more person to pitch me. Guys, if you came here to get help, 
I am now offering to help. And this is your moment. I want you to type this in the chat or just type unmute and I'll unmute you. I'm going to tell you yes or no. My yes or no answer will tell you if you're going to be successful or if you're going to be a failure. And I can help steer you in the right direction within the next 30 seconds. So if you want to know if you're going to be a success or a failure, type this in the chat right now or type unmute and I will reveal to you your future. You don't need to go to a fortune teller. You can just ask me right now, Ted, would you pay me a thousand bucks too? And I'll tell you yes or no. Come on, I'm giving very simple instructions, guys. You can do it. Uh, Jason, would you pay me $1,000 to save you thousands on food each year? Um, I'll tell you why no. Because in most people's head, they probably think that they only spend 1000 bucks a year on food anyway. Like Most people are so clueless about budgeting, dude. Most people are so clueless. It might be like, would you pay me 20 bucks to save you thousands on food each year? Yeah. But even then, then you're attracting budget ass clients. Like you're attracting people who just purely want to save some money on food. I'm saving money on my taxes. I'm saving like many thousands of dollars. So I'm not in that like little budget category. I, I wouldn't, I would say no to that, Jason. Stama says, would you pay me $1,000 to help you overcome your autoimmune condition? No. Because an autoimmune, the word autoimmune condition, or that phrase is a catch-all phrase that means so many different things to so many different people. If you said, would you pay me $1,000 to help you come ha overcome Hashimoto's? Yeah. Would you pay me $1,000 to help you overcome Crohn's? Yeah. Would you pay me $1,000 to help you overcome... Uh, colitis, rheumatoid arthritis, yeah, for sure. Yeah, you don't want to be vague here. You want to be very specific. Highly desirable, quantifiable end result. Yeah. Would you pay me $1,000 to maintain a Slim Physique 365? Yeah, I would, Maggie. For sure. I'd pay $1,000 for that. Good job. It wasn't that hard. Would you pay me $1,000 to have an amazing marriage? Yeah, I would. Guys, I just, in fact, I just did. I just paid someone a thousand bucks. I paid her, I paid her a $1,111 yesterday. I signed up to have an amazing relationship with this girl that I'm dating right now. Because I was, I was laying on the couch yesterday before bed. Now, where was I? Yeah, I was lying on the couch and I was thinking, I was just doing some reflecting and I was thinking every time in my life that I, where I've spent money, I've learned something very valuable, whether it's in business or fitness or with my health, I've always come out the other end much smarter. And I've always realized, wow, I was so dumb before. And I'm thinking, well, I haven't spent any money on relationships. Like I've watched a couple of YouTube videos and they've been super helpful. I've listened to a couple of clips of audiobooks and they've been super helpful but I've never like really invested in my relationship skills before. So I'm going to hire this coach who I liked. So yeah, I paid $1,111 yesterday to someone who's going to help me have an amazing relationship. So Bernice, yes, to answer your question, I bought that yesterday. <laughs> I bought that less, less than 24 hours ago. I spent that money. So good job, Bernice. You passed the test. I just told you your future. You're going to be successful. Would you pay me $1,000 to teach you how to look and feel younger? Uh, I'm not at that age, but if I was older, I probably would, but you'd have to like word it differently because look and feel younger is like very basic copy, but the, the angles there, the directions there, yeah. If I was a bit older, but tell me how young. Just say, I'd say, would you pay me $1,000 to look and feel like you felt in your early 20s. Yeah, now I'm sold. Would you pay me $1,000 to be able to play guitar like a pro in 90 days? Okay, Rad, Radesh, great question. Let me ask you a question, Radesh. 
Because you said, would I pay you $1,000 to play guitar like a pro nine days? Let me ask you this. Which one of these are you going for? I want you to type in the chat right now. Either the word money, beauty, relationship, or chronic physical pain. Pick which one it is. You said pro. By definition, pro means somebody who gets paid to do something. That is the literal dictionary definition. So I would assume that you're picking the first one. In which case, yeah, I would pay you $1,000 to help me make money as a guitar player. For sure. Uh, what am I getting in exchange for the relationship coaching? Uh, I'm getting four sessions. I'm going to tell her to upper price. I'm going to work with her. And after the fourth session, if she's actually good, I'm going to be like, you have to up your price. Like double it. Uh, Nur, would you pay me $1,000 to help you reverse your adult onset asthma? Mm, is that chronic physical pain? I don't know about asthma. That's not my, I don't know anything about asthma. Is it painful? I mean, if it was serious, I, if it was like preventing me from like living life, I'm sure I would. Yeah. By the way, is this helpful? We're doing this type the word helpful. If this is like genuinely helpful or type move, if you're done with this, you want us to move on. Okay. And you notice how you, you, you notice what I'm doing. I'm just going back to this list every time. And I'm asking in my head, I'm like going through this checklist of like, where does this fit in? All I'm doing is saying, where does it fit in? Where does it fit in? Where does it fit in? Jason's like, how do I help triathletes? I'm like, okay, well, how, where does it fit in? Radesh is, can I help guitar players? I'm like, okay, where does it fit in? Lucy's like, I want to help you be better. I'm like, okay, where does it fit in? All I'm doing is going back to the, and again, I made such a big point about this. And yet I, I still have to come back to it with you guys. It, it's just, it's the human condition. We we're not taught this from a young age. It's like fundamentals. It's, this is like this is like learning. Um, this is like learning your. It's like learning how to read and write. You just keep coming back to it. And if you guys weren't taught this growing up, then you're gonna keep forgetting how to read and write. Or it's like basic math. Like one plus one always equals two. But if you weren't taught that, you might think, oh, maybe one plus one this time will be five. Nope, it's two. How about this one, Ted? One plus one, three. Nope. Two. And then some of you guys are okay, but Ted, how about this one? One plus one equals six. No, it's still two. It's always one of the four. So you can pitch me whatever you want, and I'll come back to these four. So Lucy has another one. Find the master within and find you again in just 90 days. I would not pay a thousand dollars for that because it does not tell me which of these I'm being helped with. It's that simple. I don't have a vendetta or personal bias or anything against any of your guys' offers. I'm just coming back to the reality of the human condition, which is we only spend money on these four things. Done. All right, let's move on. I don't know, by the way, how anyone can succeed at business if they're not constantly learning this stuff. So kudos to you guys for being here and learning this. You will be successful if you keep it up. Okay, so that's the pitch. Practice that and keep referring back to that list. Next, your content plan. I'm going to help you figure out what type of content to make. Number one, you want to write, you want to write three lists. Three lists right now. If you come up with these three lists, you'll never have another issue ever again thinking, what kind of content should I make? You're going to have all the answers. Someone just uh, hopped on a Zoom call with me, a content creator, coach, service. She's, she offered me a done-for-you service. She said, Ted, I will make all of your content for you for the next month so that you can make more sales. I was like, that's amazing. She said, okay, give me some ideas for content. I said, no problem. Here's here are my ideas. She's like, wow, I've worked with so many clients. I've never seen someone come up with that many ideas that quickly. How'd you do it? I just went through my list. So I'm going to teach you what I showed her. And this is number one list. Write a list of 
uh, top 10 pains, problems you see your niche dealing with. Pains and problems, top 10. Then what you do is you make content that helps them eliminate or alleviate these pains and problems. Yes or no, can you do that? Can you write a list of all the top 10 pains and problems you see you're dealing with? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, number two, top 10 desires, dreams. Your, you see your niche having. Then you make content to help them get closer to that desire. For example, I could make a video right now saying, a lot of people have been asking me how to create a community. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a community using school in the next five minutes. Bam, and I go through a tour of how to use school. That would be a super helpful video because it gets them closer to the dreams and desires. Number three, top 10 counterintuitive slash controversial beliefs you have about how to become successful with what you help people with. So counterintuitive belief. I can make, I have a ton of these. Um, this is actually why I think it's easy for me to get clients because I have a lot of counterintuitive beliefs. I have a lot of controversial beliefs. One of them is, and a controversial one, I'll tell you one right now. Controversial one is there's only four things you can sell. That's very controversial. Be like, Ted, no, there must be more. No, there's only four. That's controversial. Another counterintuitive one I have is right here. My counterintuitive one is all your content should give away a free thing. It shouldn't sell anything. All your content should give away a free thing. Don't sell on social media. Give, 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 give on social media. That's kind of counterintuitive because people think, oh, but to sell, I got to actually sell. No, to sell, you give, give free stuff, give free stuff. Let them come to you. Let them come to you. Only when they're willing and ready, will they want to work with you. Don't push any sales at all. Just give, 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 give. That's kind of counterintuitive. So I got lots of those. And when you do that, it gets people thinking like, wow, that's, that actually makes sense. You, this helps you shift people's paradigm. You want lots of these. But when you come up with 10 of them for each, you now have 30 amazing videos that you can talk about in 300 different ways. That's all you need to do. If you put out those 30 videos and at the end of them, you have a call to action that leads to a freebie and that freebie leads to your community you're going to have no problem getting uh, community members. Obviously, you have to practice speaking on, on uh, camera, but yeah. Um, Maggie saying example of number three. I just gave you one. I just gave you a controversial one. I gave you a counterintuitive one. Counterintuitive one is give stuff away for free. Don't try and sell, and you make a lot of money. Controversial one is if you're going to make 10 grand a month, you have to sell high ticket. And you have to pick one of those four things. Nothing else to sell. If you try and sell anything else, you're going to fail. Next, last two, uh, your personal plan. Okay. So you, I just gave you like a bunch of insights on business, but you personally need a plan going forward. So you have one job going forward. Okay. One job and one job only. But the good news is... You also get to be a boss. So your one job is every morning you are to wake up and grab your to-do list and complete it. That's it. Now, your one job uh, working for yourself, I should say. You have one job working for yourself. That's your job. You work for yourself. You complete that list. But you also have your one job as a boss. And your one job as a boss is every night before you sleep, you grab your to-do list or notebook, whatever you want, and write out what you want slash need to do the next day. 
So somebody asked me, Ted, if you could have one superpower, what would it be? You want to fly? You want to be invisible? None of that shit. My superpower would be I complete my to-do list every single day. I would love to complete it every single day. That'd be amazing. So when I told him that, I thought about it. I think, shit, that'd be actually a really cool challenge to challenge myself to complete my to-do list every day, no matter what. So I did it. Did it for a week. Did it for two weeks. It was like the most productive week, two weeks of my life. I'm like, God, it's incredible. I can do it again. So good. And then it became a habit. And then just yesterday, I was on web. I was on camera showing my friend my notebook. And I'm like, here's my notebook. And I was flipping through it. I'm like, oh, look at all these checks. And I realized like everything's checked off. I'm like, oh, I actually it's become a complete habit now. Just check everything off my to-do list. So this would not be possible, though, had I not taken the job up as a boss and actually mapped it out the night before. So here's the thing, though. When I wake up in the morning, I don't, I look at my list every morning, totally being transparent with you. I look at my list every morning and I'm like, fuck, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do it. But the night before, I'm in bed and I'm writing a notebook and I'm like, oh yeah, I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do, everything seems so easy when I'm laying in bed. It's so easy when I'm laying in bed. I'm like, tomorrow I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And in my head, I'm like, I have all this motivation. And then I wake up and I'm like, oh, I'll do that. I do it anyway. And then once I get that first thing done, I feel good and good, good through the rest of the day and life's good. So your personal plan is to go to bed like a boss and wake up like an employee. You go to bed like a boss and you wake up like an employee and you will be successful. That is how you work for yourself. You have to be a good boss and you got to give yourself needle moving activities and you have to be a fantastic employee and you have to actually do what you were told the night before to do. Cool. Got it. The ultimate hack is actually, yeah, the ultimate hack, I'll keep it singular, is keep studying, keep learning to really master contentpreneurship. So what this is all about, contentpreneurship mastery. If you want to master this, you do not stop studying, you do not stop learning. Bruce Lee is a master. Did Bruce Lee stop studying? No, of course not. Did Bruce Lee stop learning? No, of course not. He learned to the day he died. You keep studying, you keep learning. So I want you to go through every single video I've uploaded inside of Uber Helpful Workshops. I've gone in depth on different things that you can do to grow your audience, on how to perfect your offer, on how to create a product, on how to be more productive, on how to increase sales. Look at all these different workshops on how to increase sales. And, and just overall more awesomeness, like how to get testimonials and how to save money on taxes and all sorts of stuff how to automate your emails, like everything you need, to, how to identify as a millionaire, everything is in here, okay? That's just the workshops, but also in the free class, I want you to go through step one, two, three, four, five, six, all the way to step eight. Just go through it. I've, I've, if you found this workshop helpful, you will love those workshops. Those are very, 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 very specific. So that's how you master this game. You keep studying, keep studying, keep studying. And then probably, uh, yeah, one of the even like next level hacks is to understand the power of proximity. Power of proximity. Growing up, I skateboarded all the time with kids at school and kids on the street. And we were okay. You know, we were like all kind of equal. Some kids are better than others, of course, but we we're all pretty much to the same part, equal. But the kids on the, in the other neighborhood, like 10 minutes away or something, yeah, it was about 10 minutes away, they were so much better. They were so much better. And they were all skating together. And one of the, our kids in our street, he told us, he's like, hey, man, I'm going to, um, my parents are moving. We're actually going to move up in that neighborhood. I'm going to be skating with those kids now. And all of us were like, whoa, he's going to get so good. Like we just all knew that a kid was going to become very good because now he's skating with the, the better kids. And sure enough, go moves neighborhoods. He becomes so good. Now he's like a professional skateboarder because those, those kids are pro. How can you not become pro? So it's, it was not, it was almost not fair. We felt like, you know, like, Oh, he gets to skate with them. They're going to be better. So we knew that as a kid and growing up for me in business, like in, as an entrepreneur, Whenever I'm surrounded by better entrepreneurs, like I, I level up massively. Like I was hanging out with Sam Ovens, the founder of school recently. And now we just, we chat regularly. Like 
it's it's wild how much it's leveled up my my relationships across the board. Like now that I'm friends with Sam, I'm friends with all these other people, and I'm friends with all these other people, I get crazy like invites, interactions, and I was hopping on I hopped on Zoom the other day with a dude who's making like ten mil a year, and I would no way I would have been able to chat with this guy who's making ten mil a year on Zoom uh, had I not already hung out with Sam. You know, so like there's power in proximity. You become like the people you hang around. Your network determines your net worth. And you can study all you want in private. You can read books all you want in private. You can watch YouTube videos all you want in private. But it's not until you start to actually hang around people in real life that their energy starts to like truly rub off on you. And the cells in your body just start to alter themselves to be more like the successful person that you're hanging around. So find a way to get close to successful people. Find a way to get physically close with people who are successful and their success will somehow magically rub off on you. So that is that in terms of my final words for today, power of proximity. That's the ultimate hack and keep studying, keep learning, go through everything. If you truly want to master this game of contentpreneurship. Thank you so much for attending. This was super fun. And I will see y'all later. You have any questions before I go though? Now's your chance. Forever. Hold your peace. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. Peace, y'all. Ciao for now. Bye, adios. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> thank you for all your thanking this. Do I know anyone building a speaking business moving online? That's where I'm at. I personally do not. But I'm sure with that intention, you can find someone. Ciao, peace.